Welcome to the Immigration.ca live stream series. My name is Andrea and I'm here with immigration lawyer Colin Singer. Colin is managing partner of Immigration.ca and managing partner of SkilledWorker.com. Today we're going to be discussing how to get an extra 50 or 200 points on your CRS score in the Express Entry Pool. So the government has been accepting a record amount of candidates. However, the majority of candidates are falling short on their CRS score. So an additional 50 or 200 points can be the difference between success or failure. So we can help. Uh, through immigration.ca, we provide immigration assistance. And through skilledworker.com, we're providing you with recruitment assistance as well. So Colin, why is recruitment needed for the immigration process? Well, clearly, um, immigrants to Canada are, are uh, an integral part of uh, our labor market development. Uh, employers are having uh, difficulty in sourcing uh, top international talent. Uh, so there continues to be this drive to find uh, the right candidates in targeted industries for specific employers. And this goes across uh, 10 different labor markets across the country. Um, each having its own challenges and its own needs. So immigration uh, provides uh, one tool uh, in the overall labor market uh, development challenge. Okay, and why skilledworker.com? Well, skilledworker.com is really uh, a, a concept for us that helps us bring in foreign recruitment. We've been uh, involved in the recruiting industry uh, for the better part of, of 10 years through Global Recruiters of Montreal. Uh, Global Recruiters Network uh, is, a, is a, a great employment transition enterprise uh, out of Chicago, Illinois. Um, it's, it's given us uh, great knowledge and expertise, but it provides certain uh, uh, restrictions. Uh, and so skilledworker.com really allows us to go out and service Canadian employers, provide uh, unique standalone services as part of immigration.ca, and as, as well skilledworker.com. Um, allows us to share uh, our knowledge uh, in the recruitment side of things for individual candidates as well. So an individual candidate coming to Canada uh, will be able to rely on our expertise that we've developed over the past 10 years in foreign recruitment uh, and in our relationships that we've developed with Canadian employers. Perfect. So from an employer perspective, obviously employers, they want to retain candidates. So what does this mean for employers? Uh, well, look, uh, skilledworker.com uh, becomes a, a tool for Canadian employers uh, who uh, might need to go out and find the right top talent uh, in terms of uh, individual occupations across a wide range of industries, or if you're going into the global talent stream, employers who might qualify for those particular uh, occupations and in those industries, uh, we're able to put together uh, recruitment strategies that will help them uh, go out and identify uh, the labor that they need and keeping in mind with immigration.ca we are able to provide the immigration uh, expertise in getting the work permits, getting the visas uh, sorted, uh, helping employers uh, qualify if it's going to be in the global talent stream, uh, the labor market benefits uh, document is pretty critical uh, in, in getting into the program uh, and if it's not in the global talent stream uh, the immigration side of things through immigration.ca uh, we have the knowledge in preparing the labor market uh, impact assessment uh, and all of the immigration formalities so skilledworker.com gives us both the recruitment side of things and the immigration side of things through immigration.ca. And what can employers expect from our fee structure? And, you know, we believe uh, in terms of how the industry works, most of the recruitment side of things works either on a contingency fee. Uh, most employers are going to be charged uh, a rate that ranges uh, for mid-range candidates. They're going to be paying upwards of 15 and 20 percent in, in recruitment fees. Uh, on the contingency side of things. Uh, if you're dealing with retained searches for the upper executive, again, the fees could be 25 or 30 percent. Very, very costly. Uh, for the um, hourly employees, we provide employers with a recruitment assistance on a fixed fee basis. So we are able to go out and help the employer identify 
through the process that we follow, uh, pretty much um, where they're going to uh, be able to look and, and, and succeed in attracting the talent they need. Um, we define the source countries with employers on a fixed fee basis. We're able to uh, devise advertising campaigns. These campaigns are critical in terms of meeting Canadian immigration requirements um, and then we're going to define uh, the advertising and social media programs which we're quite uh, knowledgeable in on the social media side of things so that we're going to reach the ideal target candidates um, and, and then again uh, on a fixed fee basis we are going to help the employer whether they're going to you know with with the their HR professionals uh, or if they're going to have us uh, source uh, and, and take care of the HR side of things uh, we're going to work on screening uh, the candidates handing over the candidates to the employer so that they can do uh, the face-to-face -face using video conferencing uh, so we coordinate every aspect of the hiring process and the um, uh, negotiating process in terms of getting them sorted uh, with the labor uh, contracts that again have to meet the Canadian requirements. So on the skilledworker.com uh, platform, uh, what we're doing is offering the employers who are looking for the hourly candidates, we're able to confine and define our uh, mandates on a fixed fee basis. Uh, as well, when they get into the immigration side of things, once again, we're able to provide a fixed fee base mandate so that each candidate that they retain, the employer is able to quantify what is this going to cost us in, in the overall uh, scheme of things. Okay, that's great. So from, an, so from a candidate's perspective, so what can a potential immigrant to Canada expect from our services through immigration.ca and Global Recruiters in Montreal? I'm sorry, as well as uh, skilledworker.com. Well, uh, the, the, the reality is we're able to, every single one of our, our, our client candidates who come to us individually are going to be able to draw upon our expertise in the recruitment industry through skilledworker.com uh, and they will receive a complete a uh, job search package which includes 500 employers across the country in the industry that the candidate is involved in. Uh, we're going to assist each candidate in devising and perfecting their online digital resume that is going to meet Canadian hiring. The employers who are in Canada uh, have a certain style of working expectation in reviewing uh, resumes and uh, online uh, CVs. So we're going to work with our client candidates in devising the best uh, online personas. Again, the name of the game is how to stand out from others who are going into this process. So uh, we're helping our candidate clients go into the express entry system uh, or if they uh, qualify for a provincial program we would obviously uh, identify uh, out from the onset uh, that would be their best option. But all our mandates, as I said, include a job search uh, function right. as, as part of our services. Again, two-year mandates. We have a 24-month mandate, uh, up to two submissions going into the express entry pool. And we stand with uh, our clients who choose uh, the particular services that we offer, uh, a full standalone service from the beginning till the end until they're selected until an invitation is issued, should it be issued, mm -hmm. and uh, we help them uh, navigate the immigration formalities throughout the 24-month the, the term. Right, and all, going back to the, the database of potential hiring employers, there's a database of at least 500 potential hiring employers, and it's tailored to each client. So it's tailored to their industries that they get to choose, also the provinces that they would like to relocate to. Right. For example, under the Federal Skilled Worker Program, you, could, you can relocate, you can choose to relocate to any province except for Quebec. And, uh, Basically, you can choose which provinces. Often, some clients choose more than one province. 
just to maximize their chances as well. And it's different than an online job board. That's a question we get very often. True. Well, how is this different than an online job board? Well, th that's, you know, you raise an important point because even the Canadian system is geared to a, a, a general catch-all process, which is an online submission uh, starting in the end of August. There will be another requirement where employers are going to have to uh, uh, submit uh, and, and, and prove as part of the hiring process that they've uh, canvassed the Canadian labor market using uh, the Canadian government's uh, online tool system. Uh, again, using online tools is a general process, but unfortunately, if you're a candidate, the, the chances are not very high that you're going to stand out. So when you come to immigration.ca, uh, you have access to our knowledge, and really we're, we're helping our clients on, on how to stand out from others going into the system. Uh, if you're working with a, if we're working with an employer, again, we're, we're working with an employer on how to reach the best candidates from a particular country. Obviously, we have to identify again, as I said earlier, uh, where these candidates are going to come from. Uh, it's often very important in terms of processing times if they're not going to be in the global talent stream, uh, which most obviously employers are not going to be in. Uh, it's important to know how long is it going to take for that candidate to come to Canada. Again, uh, knowing where they're coming from has a, a, an important uh, determination factor on what visas are required, what exemptions are going to be permitted, and it allows an employer to be able to roughly uh, anticipate and, and plan ahead. So that's what we're bringing to a candidate. That's what we're going to bring to an employer uh, who is looking to access uh, top talent from overseas. Right, and also for candidates, often we get questions about interviews. We also provide assistance. We will give some coaching on that. We can answer any questions. Also, relocation. Often we get questions with regards to salaries in Canada. Please go to skilledworker.com because we cover all of that for you. Well, you know, you mentioned the tutorials that were really, uh, that uh, is part of our uh, job search, search service, uh, our, our online tutorials that we provide all our clients with individually, uh, the online tutorials, the PowerPoint presentations on how to get through the front door, for example. How are you going to get through the, uh, the, the reception? Uh, this is a challenge for, for recruiters. We've certainly learned that at Global Recruiters of Montreal. Uh, how is an employer going, how are we going to reach the hiring manager? Yes. So uh, a lot of what we're teaching our candidates who come to us, uh, we're, we're providing them uh, again, finding a job from overseas is difficult. We've, we've covered how to find a job from overseas on our previous uh, live streams uh, and, uh, and some of our writing, so uh, we won't cover that again. But really, it's, it's, the bottom line is how to stand out, how to maximize your chances in succeeding in an immigration project to Canada, or as an employer, how are you going to source the top talent if you're happy with your uh, current recruitment uh, infrastructure, then we could work with your recruitment team uh, on fine-tuning their efforts that are in tune with the new policies in Canada uh, for bringing in foreign workers. Right. So, I mean, to summarize, to summarize that, so for candidates, obviously immigration.ca and skilledworker.com will work together to assist you to maximize your chances to Canada. And from employers' perspective, immigration.ca and, and skilledworker.com will assist you in retaining the skilled worker that you would like to hire for your company. So I don't know, Colin, if there's any other further points that we should cover. Did we cover? I think we've covered most of what we wanted to cover for today. Okay. Um, let's call to action. Perfect. So if you would like to immigrate to Canada, please go to our website, immigration.ca, and complete our free online evaluation form. We'll then get back to you with your options. If you are an employer, please contact us through immigration.ca, and we'll be happy to discuss with you your options as well. And as always, please like us, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. I think what we're planning is uh, perhaps our next uh, live stream session will be uh, the third week of August. Uh, we're pretty well certain on, on the approximate uh, 
certain, approximate. Uh, we already have our topic lined up. We'll uh, reveal it to you uh, uh, in the uh, period just before the third week of August. So until then, thanks so much for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Right. See you soon. Thank you.